Hey guys, I've got another playback tip for you this week, and this one is pretty simple, and I actually didn't know it was there just messing around one day. So if you've got playback and you've got chart builder, they can talk to each other without setting up really anything. Now I will say this, both playback device and chart builder need to be on the same network. So if you're using a wired ethernet network or your wireless network at your church, they need to be on the same network. Once you've established that, you can do all your automation lyrics as well as this feature now. So if you click up here in the settings, you'll see this thing called Playback Sync. I have no idea, didn't know what it was for, but if you turn it on, if your set list is not uploaded to the cloud, your current set list is gonna tell you you have to upload it to the cloud for this to work, obviously. So turn on Playback Sync, and then this is the easy part. I've got Chart Builder pulled up here for demo purposes. It can be on an iPad, iPhone, what have you. I've just got it on my Mac so we can see it. Open Chart Builder, and you're gonna go over here to your account, and you're gonna click Playback Sync. Now I see it pick me up right away. It's saying um, that that's my computer. I'm on the network. So if you don't see your device you're looking for, that's gonna be controlling the playback session. Hit Refresh Devices. And then it's simple as just clicking on it. Once you click on it, it's going to load the set list that's in playback. And the best part is it follows it. So let's say I jump to Living Hope and I want to jump to the interlude in a Living Hope. It's going to move that over here in Chart Builder to, to that spot. It can jump to the chorus. And if this is on your confidence monitor, that's going to move as well. So if you happen to have this link to your confidence monitor, maybe you're displaying Chart Builder on there or if you're using an iPad on stage or, or anything like that, um, this will move wherever you're at in the song and it will follow suit as long as these two devices are on the same network. And of course, in Chart Builder, you can change the way you look at it. So if you wanted to see just lyrics, you know, maybe it's a confidence monitor for just uh, worship leaders. Okay, that's a bit much. I wouldn't want that. But if you're looking at chords and lyrics or something like this, you can change it to that and it's just going to load and it's going to work and it's going to move around again as long as you're on the same network it's simple as pressing a couple buttons uh, a volunteer doesn't have to keep up with it it's just going to move around wherever you're at in the song um, so total spontaneous spontaneity I know a lot of people say you can't be spontaneous with tracks that is not true it just takes some thought to be able to do it you can move around in any one of these arrangements very easily the guide following you as well there's really no reason to have to, you know, settle for hand cues and things like that anymore. So hopefully this helps you guys out and, uh, you know, you learn something from it. And let me know if you have any questions. Have a good week.